Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome back to today's video. In today's video, I'll be comparing two popular handbags from Loewe. One of them is the Loewe Puzzle Bag. Another one is Loewe Hammer Bag. In the end, I'll let you know which one I actually prefer. Without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I'll let you talk about the sizes. Both of these handbags come in a variety of sizes. For the Loewe Puzzle Bag, it comes in mini, small, medium and also large. As for the hammer bag, it comes in mini, compact and small. So compact is like the size in between the size small and also the size mini. Both of these handbags also come in different leather. So for the puzzle bag, it comes in the green leather, just like the one that I'm using right now, and also comes in the natural calf skin, which is the smooth leather. I believe I usually it just comes in the natural calf skin, like the one that I currently have right now. Both of these handbags also comes in different colors. For my puzzle bag, it is in the light caramel, so it is like light brown. For my hammer bag, it is a different shade of brown. For the exact color name, I am not so sure about it. For the puzzle bag, the main compartment is in the zip closure. On the back, there is a pocket, but it is very teeny tiny. For my size, it is in a size medium, so it comes in 4 feet. Usually, it comes in an adjustable strap. The one that I have, I bought it separately. For the hammer bag, essentially, it is a big hole, like an open tote. And there is a side pocket. I've never used it, not gonna lie. On the bottom, there is no feet. The strap is also adjustable because my puzzle bag is in a size medium and the hammer bag is in a size small. I would say their weight is the same, but if you're talking about the puzzle bag in a size small, I would definitely say that the hammer bag will be a little bit heavier, but it's not extremely heavy. In terms of the look, a lot of people are saying that the Loewe Puzzle Bag is less appealing and the hammer bag looks a lot better. There are two looks with the hammer bag. The first one is essentially just like this. And the second one looks like this. That's why in terms of look, I would definitely say that the hammer bag gives you a bit more options. When I'm going out, if I want to look a bit more put together, for example, if I'm wearing something like this, like a polo shirt and a pair of trousers, I'll probably go for this one. I'll let you talk about the versatility. For the puzzle bag, I feel like the versatility would be a little bit better. So even though I just said, if I'm wearing something smart casual, I'll probably go for the hammer bag. But actually, the puzzle bag, I can still wear it with it. I would say the puzzle bag, it goes with every single look. But for the hammer bag, it's not suitable for every single outfit. So that's why it will be less versatile. You can wear the puzzle bag as a backpack. All you need to do is to hook the strap to the D-ring on the bottom. Okay, and it will be something like this. Not sure if you can tell, but it will be something like this. Honestly though, I've only used this bag as a backpack once, but I've owned this bag for around 5 years now. That's why in terms of versatility, the puzzle bag definitely wins. Next up, I'll let you talk about the usage of the bag. I've reached for my puzzle bag definitely a lot more than the 
hammer back. I guess the main reason why I use the puzzle bag a lot more is because when I use the puzzle bag, it is just carefree. My one is in the small grey calfskin. I've been using this bag for almost 5 years now and the leather just held up pretty well. More importantly, I can use this bag almost every occasion. I've used this bag twice for travelling and it's been a very awesome travel bag. Don't get me wrong, I think the hammer bag is also very durable. Although it is in a traditional smooth calf skin, it's still holding up pretty well. Another reason why I didn't wish for my hammer bag as much is probably because of the size. The size small in my opinion is a bit weird. Although in terms of my body frame, actually size small looks pretty nice on me. If I have to carry a lot with me, I probably wouldn't use this bag because you might think that it can fit a lot because it is an open tote. However, when you fill this bag to the brim, stuff will just fall out accidentally, which is of course is not very ideal. That's why I think this size is a little bit weird in my point of view. In terms of longevity, both the bags would stand the test of time, in my opinion, because these two bags are definitely classic of the brands. Especially when we talk about Loewe, everyone would remember this bag, the puzzle bag. And I would say the second bag would be this one, the hammer bag. However, did you know that Loewe discontinued the original puzzle bag? So this one, I believe that it has already been discontinued. The new style is called the Edge style. In my point of view, it doesn't look good at all. I remember the Edge style came out 2-3 years ago, and originally the price is slightly more expensive than the original one. But right now, I believe that they are the same price. I've heard some people saying that the reason why they discontinued the original style is because the edge style is easier to make, the production cost would be a bit lower. But funny enough, when the edge style came out, it is actually more expensive than the original one. So, I have no idea. Similarly, the hammer bag has also been around for a very long time, and the way they keep on making different style of the hammer bag, that's why I think both the puzzle bag and also the hammer bag will be a very good one to go for if you're looking for any Loewe bags. For the final verdict, which one I prefer? I'm guessing all of you should have known it already. It is the Loewe puzzle bag. The puzzle bag is very carefree, it is versatile, I can wear this bag on every occasion. More importantly, I've been using this bag for almost 5 years now and I'm still reaching for this bag. However, for the hammer bag, I still love the look of it. I just don't reach for this bag as much as I used to anymore. That's why if you ask me, if you're going to buy your first Loewe bag, which one would you go for? I would definitely say the Loewe puzzle bag. Especially right now, I think they're going to discontinue this style. If you really love this style, I think they still have some stocks available in the store. You need to get it now, otherwise you need to get the S style, which I don't prefer. If you're asking me what about the S puzzle bag or the hammer bag, I'm not sure because I'm not the biggest fan of the S style look. I love the hammer look a lot better because for the edge style, I just think it is not so good. There you have it, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys love this video, please give this video a like. Comment down below which one do you like more. Do you like the puzzle back more or do you like the hammer back more? And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!